Um, all right, so this is a, a guitar that I bought. Um, it's probably been about maybe five, six years or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I bought it from a guy um, on Craigslist. And um, when I bought it, it was in kind of rough condition, really. It uh, was scratched everywhere. I think there was a big dent here on the side. You can kind of still see it. Um, it was scratched everywhere and actually the wood was cracked like in between here or something like that. So I completely took it apart and cleaned it up, fixed it. Um, I repainted the pickups, uh, to look like the uh, juggernauts, um, uh, the bare knuckle pickups and, um, uh, made this hardwood uh, cover for the uh, truss rod nut and then, um, um, so I had this for a while. I played it for a while. It, it works really good, but then I lend it to somebody, and they kind of just, you know, threw it in the corner and cut all the strings and just really didn't take care of it at all. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it apart again. You can see, you know, there's some damage here on the corners and, you know, just filthy. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. And I'm going to do a, um, uh, a finish on it with the epoxy resin. Um, so basically what i got to do is take it completely apart, take, pull off all the wiring, uh, the bridge, everything basically. And then sand it down to bare wood. I'm going to go ahead and stain it with uh, ebony black stain um, all over you know the whole thing. And I'm going to fit fix all these little dents now that I'm going to go ahead and because when I originally did it I just kind of just scuffed and fixed all the scratches stained it and then re-cleared it uh, So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fix and uh, fix this uh, um, Guitar and make it look really nice again So those are punched out, and um, so now it's time to wipe it down with some alcohol or something like that, get all this, I don't know what the hell this crap is, but I'll go ahead and remove all that stuff and then sand it down. Alright, so it took about, um, I don't know, about an hour and a half, I guess, to go ahead and sand this down completely, um, did the front and the back. And uh, basically, I just used a palm sander, started off with 60 grit, took it uh, down to bare wood, and then um, uh, switched over to 120, and then finished it off over the whole entire thing with um, 220. Um, there's a couple of little spots that I think I missed, like right in there, but I can get that uh, with uh, just a, some, a sheet of sandpaper. Um, now, uh, I did, I, I'm not even going to try and get inside here because it's really thin, you know, to begin with. And I don't want to take off any more uh, material. So I'm just going to clean it up real good. Kind of get, get these little last, you know, spots that I missed. And then all of these holes that are here, I'm going to have to actually probably redo them or redrill them um, after I pour the epoxy over. I'm going to have to do some barriers. Um, in here so it doesn't get inside these pockets right here because I don't want to fill this in with uh, uh, resin or else the pickups and everything and the, and, and the neck won't fit because that's a really tight fit in this guy. So uh, yeah, but all these other little holes I'm going to have to, you know, redrill and stuff. This little one right here has like a ground um, wire that comes out from the back um, through here so I'll have to redrill that. These are just screw holes to hold the bridge on and then these are the holes for the um, uh, uh, 
the, the strings to go through. And uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is just go, uh, you know, after I sand it, is go over it with some of this uh, wood stain. It's ebony, which is basically black. And then, um, you know, do the front and back. And then what I'm going to have to do after I do the epoxy is... Um, I'm going to have to sand the back again because usually it kind of drips and then, you know, I'll have to sand it, uh, flatten it out, and then stain it again, and then do the final finish. So I'm going to go ahead and sand it right now. All right, so here it is, all stained up. And uh, actually it looks really nice this way, but um, I was able to sand down that area that was right there that had those dents um so i sanded those down i didn't have to fill them in now originally um it looked like they had some sort of um i don't know, like a sanding sealer or something like that on top of this so um it kind of blended into the the wood underneath so when i did the first uh, coat of uh, stain it was really splotchy and actually you can see right here i got to sand it down just a little bit more uh, to get down to the bare wood and then restain that area, but that was you know no problem there. I just had to basically sand it uh, with some uh, 120 and get it back down to wood, so you can see the really nice grain that's in there. Like I say, it's almost a shame to just go over this because the grain looks really nice. I really like the way it looks there. Uh, so I got a little bit ahead of myself. Sorry, but. Um, uh, basically what I did was I just, like I said, I, I um, uh, masked off those areas inside there. That way the uh, resin doesn't drip inside these parts right here. Um, and I just used this stuff here. It's a, a Tyvek tape, which is a, a, it's, resin really doesn't like sticking to that stuff. So that's a good tape to use uh, whenever you're working with this stuff. And now um, I'm, what I'm doing now is putting on a coat or a layer of clear um, resin over the whole top and I have three colors or two colors actually mixed I have the white which has a little bit of a um, white pearlescent um, pigment and a little bit of white acrylic paint added to that and then this one here is that dark pearlescent uh, gray silver whatever gunmetal um, added to the resin on this side so like I said I'm putting on the the clear coat on this and basically you just want to do a, a thin layer over the top Now you could use, um, you know, mixing sticks, paddle, brush, put on a pair of gloves and just use your fingers, whatever. You know, all you got to do is just get it on there. Um, if you do use a brush, make sure it's not a cheap brush where the bristles are going to come off or else you'll be picking that stuff out of um, the resin. You don't really want anything to be in this layer when you're after it dries because it's uh it'd be basically if you have something stuck in there you either got to drill it out um and then uh, put another layer of clear over it or whatever or color depending on you know what it, what the the object is inside there um so yeah we're almost done and i'll finish doing this and then be back with the other layer So, um, I let it set for a little bit, and then um, let the bubbles kind of go away, and then I used the heat gun to spread it around. Um, then I added a little bit more of the pigment just directly on top of the guitar, um, and then I just kind of used the brush like you just saw me doing, um, and that's how it looks like right now. It has a kind of like a, I don't know, a really nice pattern in it. But it's kind of, to me, 
it it just needs I don't know like a little bit of color in it so I'm thinking of putting a little bit just the tiniest bit of purple in there um, hopefully that might make it look a little nicer and I like I say I just want to put just a little bit not a lot And then do the same thing with the brush. So yeah, that's how kind of that's what it looks like now. Give you a close up. Now it looks a little um wavy I guess so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the heat gun a little bit Also, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some trash right in there. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and just pick all this stuff out. Because um, I don't want it in there when it dries. Because like I say, it's a pain just to get it out after it's done. So I'll get some uh, tweezers and um, pick all this stuff out. And I think we're done. It's a small area right there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll pick out all those little things that are in there. And, you know, I mean, since I am going to do another clear coat over it, uh, uh, I can always sand down some of this stuff with a real fine um, sandpaper um, and then um, clear coat the whole thing, you know. But, you know, the larger pieces like that, you really can't get you can't sand through that stuff because then you'll have like a, I don't know, they'll look like a, like you, basically like you sand it, it through to something right there. So you got to pull that out. So I, I um, as you saw previously, this was a, I recorded that a couple of days ago. Um, I uh, did all of the, the, the pigment coat and then let that dry. Came in the next day and sanded it just a little bit because there was some spots where um, it, it kind of dipped in, you know, not sure why, but 
so what I did was I sanded it again, and then I did the uh, another uh, another coat of just the epoxy resin without any sort of pigment, and uh, just covered the top, smoothed out the sides, um, and this is how it stayed. And I let it dry. Let's see, I did it. Uh, I let it dry over the weekend, and um, and this is what what it looks like now. It looks really good. I just uh, I did take off the uh, the mask or the yeah the tape that I had right here and around there, and it left a little bit of a ridge. I don't know if you can see it there or not, but yeah, there's a little bit of a ridge. And on some of them, like right here, I just kind of got a razor blade and kind of took off that ridge that was there, but it, you can still feel it. And so what I'm going to do now is um, I bought some some sandpaper with uh, different grits. Start off with a thousand, and then uh, just basically go over all these little. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Well, like right there, there's a couple little dust nibs that are in there. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sand them down, wet sand them um, with a thousand. <laughs> take knock this down along the edge uh, being careful not to get sand through the color coat and then take it up to about 2500 and then polish it uh, before I polish it though I'm gonna sand completely sand the edges here um, down to bare wood as well as the back because you can see it has the the drips from all that I don't have to clean the inside there too probably with a router or something like that but yeah I gotta and then I'll go ahead and sand the back again and then stain it the sides and the back and then um, after I do all that um, I will polish the back and then do a clear coat on the sides and the back with a satin finish which means I'll have to basically just mask off this area right here because this is going to be shiny not satin and um, and then it'll be ready to be put together. Basically what I did was I just masked the front end, or the front part of it, um, after I polished it so I wouldn't get any overspray on it. And then um, I just used some of this stuff, uh, polyurethane, uh, semi-clear, or clear semi-gloss. And now I've given it, so far, about three or four coats. Um, these end areas right here on the end grain it's like really sucking in the polyurethane so i think what i'm going to do is leave it like that until tomorrow hopefully it'll dry and then um this will harden up and then i'll just give it a with some i'll give it a, a once over with the scotch bright pad uh, just to smooth everything out take out all the little dust nibs and then give it one more coat um or m maybe two more coats of a polyurethane and then uh, hopefully it'll be done. So here it is. Um, after 
polishing it uh, or sanding it and polishing it and then giving it about four coats of the um, polyurethane on the back so yeah so all in all it's uh, I would say it came out pretty good um, I got rid of a lot of those dust nibs and stuff like that that were in there so um, all I got to do now is uh, put the neck back on uh, wire up the pickups the bridge put on well you know basically just assemble it again So yeah, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more and I'll call her done. Just gotta get some strings. I just gotta get some strings, put it on, put them on, tune it, make sure I connected the pickups right. So, um, there it is. Thanks for watching.